Hey people, I'm going to welcome you to another episode of True North Losers. It's Thursday, October 12th. Uh, we're coming out a great morning, Stevie. I think we're looking at upper 30s on temperature so right. far. Nice. Uh, October 12th, we're going to do a Thursday to Sunday gig again on Sawbill Lake. Uh, throughout his name already, but we got a special guest this trip. This is Steve, a uh, friend of mine and hey. a recent retiree uh, work colleague. And so, yeah, we're going to take you along for the ride. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, maybe we'll show you some fish while we're out there. All right, see you in a bit. Cool. Yeah, have fun on your trip, all right? The True North Losers. True North Losers. Look right. it up on YouTube. That's the cool channel. Cool. And uh, <laughs> on one video, for some reason, it went wild. We had like 42,000 views. Oh. Most of them are like three, 4,000. This one went oh. 10x that. It was a good trip, though. Caught, yeah. caught just shy of a four-pounder smallmouth on that trip. And it, we got it all on video. It was just super cool. I'm not a big-time fisherman, so if I lay into something big, it's real, you yeah, know? for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys have a good trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you too. too. Thank you. All right. This was good. You put the paddles right in my way. I like that. Yeah. Figured you couldn't miss them now. This trip uh, is going just perfect so far. <laughs> I think I captured that wise ass comment on camera right now. Too. Oh, good. I wouldn't want that one to be an ass. Come on, Betsy. There you go. There you go. One moment, please. Oh, it's kind of wedged in a rack here. Oh, you're going to put your legs on either side? Come on! Come on! <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of the crap. You remember the Wrath of Khan? Oh, I do. I love it. Come on! Look at that. Oh, stupid. Yeah, we're going to be a little top heavy, so. Oh, yeah. Well, I got some behind me space here. If you want to just. Uh, Oh, perfect. I'll give you a half an hour to stop tying that freaking rope off. Well, this is... Gotta keep your ropes neat. These people are growing extra beards over here waiting for you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're a little top heavy. Okay. All right, hang on. Is this, is this gonna work? Hang on, little mister. There. Yeah, we're not going to have too much of a choice on that. All right, folks, uh, we're just off the landing now, getting rolling. Stevie's going to take navigation and power power paddling in the bow. And this trip, I'm taking the stern. Stern guy has responsibility for steering. Uh, in particular, in rougher water to keep your head into the wind. And front guy or gal really just has responsibility to plow through the waves. We're all right. We're all right. We're going to rock and roll a little bit, Stevie. Don't you worry. something stupid or you got that covered? Well, I just caught that. <laughs> Oops, wrong steerage. That was me. Look at the recovery. It's freaking awesome. All right, viewers. It may not be obvious to you on the camera, but man, 
we have some shallow rocks here and so we're just going to bring you along for the ride it's kind of the water's kind of glary but uh we're going really slow it'd be great if we were doing this with like one foot oh right in front of you steve you can see the water oh yeah that's it yeah that's the widow maker widow maker right there So, uh, viewers, if you've seen the movie on Golden Pond, we are in Purgatory Cove. Get up on the bow, boy. We'll go slow. Stay straight ahead because there's one to the right coming up. Straight ahead because there's one to the right. Ethel, what are you doing out here? Geez, I'm doing a steer and I'm raking rocks. All right, hopefully the worst is past us. Yeah, I want to see the 25 horse go through there. <laughs> All right, people. Uh, Steve has indicated that uh, the shoreline you're looking at right now is the campsite, or is a campsite he stayed at before. No, wait, no, wait a second. <laughs> what? fire pit yet. Dude, it looks like a campsite. I know. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I... All right, Steve could be mistaken. I'll let him off the hook for the time being. We're just going to swing around here and uh, see if this really is a... Man, I can't believe it's not. Yeah, I mean, you got so much open area. I just don't want to be recorded and be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not getting edited out either if you are wrong. <laughs> Look at those swans, man. They're big. Big mature ones. Beautiful. Swans. So we want to go back there. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, there's the fire pit. Yeah, I knew it all along. <laughs> I knew it the whole time. Yeah, you want to stick your nose in there? See how we can stick the nose all right. in there? Yeah, I'm not going to have anything here. Get your left foot up, you get, there we are, there we are. <sighs> like a freaking cat. <laughs> oh, I was recording. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good then. That's a chunk of video she'll have fun with. All right, folks, we're going to take you for a tour of this camp. So this little clearing right here is a candidate for a tent, I see. Yeah, I think we might have used that one last time. You used up here? Yeah. Then up here we got another spot. That, w that looks really good too. Yeah. Tarpage. Look at the nice wood they gave us. I know. You got some cedar in there? Yeah, it's a... Wow. It's a good start. Yeah, that's nice. We can take down this tree right here. <laughs> I 
Uh, so let's, uh, sweetheart, we'll go take a look at the uh, walrus rocks here. Yeah, you throw a pad out here. You got a lot of. Yeah, we were looking at the sky here from this spot. It's yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. That's a lot of good area here. Yeah. You want to just uh, call this home? I, I think we call this home. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm not a grass is greener type guy, Steve. All right, people, we're gonna start unloading, and. Uh, We'll bring you back when we get halfway ready to set up. All right, folks. Uh, one thing I almost forgot here is we're going to take you on a tour of the latrine. You think you came off path or what? It kind of looks like a path. Yeah. You think you got it? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like. Well, it looked like a path. Well, they are you think you're still on it? Might be one of these paths that goes down. The uh, yeah, it might be a wood. Uh, it might be a wood harvesting path. So Steve is taking us deep into the jungle, folks. When you recover this video, <laughs> remember his face. All right, let's start over. Good thinking. All right, we're heading back to camp if we can. I mean, that looks like a path, Steve. Well, Look at this. Steve thinks he's back on the trail. Got some wood here. <laughs> I got a, I got a bow saw. We'll carve through this sucker. Yeah, this is looking more promising, Steve, although they they got serious about distance from camp. Let's try down. Uh, viewers, just you know, Steve really has to go right now. <laughs> so this uh, is not just a curiosity trip. I was going to say, Steve, they don't go this far back from camp. I know they don't. This is, uh, this is too far. Look at the what the beaver did on that thing. Oh, nice. That's a hell of a hatchet job someone did. Yeah. I... You know, it's kind of interesting because when all the... When it's colder in the... And the underbrush uh, starts to die away like this, it becomes everything starts looking like a path. Yeah. So, well, it's curious because we're kind of on a peninsula, right? We got water on that side, main water on this side. It's got to be somewhere in between. I'm no uh, <laughs> national parks uh, planner here. There'll be some sawbill lake experts watching this video, Steve, going. These guys are a couple of tools. I got 11.28. If that's a path to the crapper, I'll eat my hat. Hope you're enjoying this video, people. People. 
I've had the camera off for two hours now as we've been traipsing. <laughs> Steve, as we've been traipsing through the woods looking for this thing. My God, there's paths everywhere. Yeah, look at it. It's, uh, it looks almost new. It is. It's a... What a throne. Yeah, um, yeah, take a good little look, see. How are we doing on Phil? We're going to make our four-day week here? we got at least got at least three feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent work. I always look. Sometimes I've seen a number stenciled on the side, so i got to double-check if this has a serial number. I don't know what I do with it. So look at this, Steve. Over to the right. Do you think that was a starter pit and they changed their mind? Oh, they could have. Yeah. They might have hit a big stone or something. So people, this is the kind of research and exploration that we do for you. <laughs> and we bring this to you free of charge. As an aspiring unpaid influencer, uh, you know, I got to cut my teeth on this stuff and I rely on you, the viewers, to give us positive feedback. Look at the tree roots around this massive boulder. Yeah. That That's a cool formation. Beautiful. Yeah, you got a number of trees just growing off the rock there. Cedar trees are pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so. All right, that was the, uh, that was the crapper people. So, best path back? Or yeah, whatever. right. Here? Or? Yeah, I'm thinking left, Steve. Stevie, sun's punching through. Oh yeah. Anytime now. Oh, that's yeah, that's a nice longer table, Steve. Yeah, I didn't realize it came in different sizes. Yeah, that's news to me too. The base is the same size though, I think. Oh, sure, all right. <clears throat> they just extended the top. Yeah, extended the top. Nick wants to get one. So now he gets to see both. That looks like a two footer. I mean, I'm, I'm swagging it. And I'll, I'll wager mine's what, 18 inch? We can choose a different spot for this if you want. Oh yeah, yeah. We we always just set stuff up and then we put her all together later. So one of my panic attacks driving up with the hood, with those little hood stoppers with yeah. the rope, is driving down the freeway at, you know, 60 miles an hour and the hood lets loose. Just pops up the canoe, just goes. Oh, you, you haven't seen this happen. No, oh. but I mean, I'm looking at my hood. And I'm saying I would really not like that if it would happen. Right, and is that hood designed for this kind of thing, right? Or was it just designed for a car and wind, and that's it? Right. Right, exactly.
So hook the hook the carabiner on the canvas loop, all right? Okay. This one doesn't have a carabiner. Say that again? This one doesn't have a carabiner. Wonder if it fell off. It's possible it fell off, and thank God it's black. <laughs> so it should be easy to find. Check your pockets just in case. Yeah, that would have been a logical place to put it. Yep, yeah, look at this. Oh, there it is. Nice. Look at that, dude. That's we are okay. Okay, so hook right to that. Uh, yeah, loop. so this is what I did. Hook that to the loop, and, and then really. Line. Okay. All right, at this height, we're not going to need much length, so cinch that sucker right up to the hilt. <clears throat> I wonder if we want to bring the front of it down a little bit more. That's the problem. These. Well, yeah, but we can angle them. Do you think they'll? Oh, okay. Do you think they'll hold? I think if we kind of dug them in a little bit. Yeah. Like, you want to do that now? We'll just start moving them a little bit. Let's make them parallel, though. Yeah, don't come in so far that we lose seating room. Sure, I understand. Yeah, okay. Good so enough. we'll cinch it, and then what we'll do is micro adjust. Oh, Steve, look at that. Nice. Do it. And then we'll have to tighten the front ones. But it'll, yeah, that's it'll right. Be good. We'll just keep going around with micro adjustments. Yeah. All right, you got the hatchet. Here you go. Wasn't MC Hammer a 3M? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was for command adhesive. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, worst comes to worst. Worst comes to worst, we're going to put a log and you're just going to tie off around the log. That's a big one. You got a lot of distance, yeah. I mean, we could we could bring that sucker back here yet. I think I got oh, the you got it. Got, no, still hitting some. I'm getting close. Why don't we come back to here? Ouch. There you go. I did it. I did it. Now I'm going to go change mine. Because I have a hatchet. <laughs> Should I put these uh, these new stakes and lines and everything in the stake bag? That's a good question. Let me let me look at it and think just for a sec. Well, here's we, what I'm going to do. I'm going to put everything in this tarp bag. All right. And then I got it. And let everybody see a hyperventilate. Oh, yeah. It's got one of those bag things. Okay. Yeah, you just kind of let it fill, cinch the top, and push her in. That's a lot better than the one I've got. It's got this funny thing where you're just supposed to blow in this big gaping hole, which doesn't really help. Oh, much. that's tough. No, I've had good luck with this thing. Yeah, otherwise, I really like this one. Did the bag come with it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll either, when Tammy comes up, I'll either buy her this style. I really like this style. Or, uh, or not. <laughs> I suppose you can buy those bags separate now, too. But I, you, you know, think? some people just sleep on those accordion things, like that thing I brought. I just think that they're not that comfortable. Oh, right, yeah. No, I, I, I agree, I need some air. I like level three on my air mattress, Steve. <laughs> Mine don't don't rip your thing. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna come over here so everybody can see me hyperventilate. Yeah, good. <clears throat> your sleeping bag's touching my side. You are such a dillweed. 
All right, so now I know how you feel about it. <laughs> Is this still it's recording? That's it's all making it on YouTube. <laughs> all right, people. We're going to go get some firewood. So we're going to watch this guy struggle. That's not it. Look at that. All right, he did good. It's better than finding the, the, the pooper. Better Gosh. Than, it's better than finding the that was a sojourn. <laughs> Little tinkle. Now the timing couldn't be better. Hey, what do you mean? It just started right where it, right, right when you get the boat. We're totally committed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See down, tree down there. Right? Uh, it's mosey over there. Might be kind of big, but... Little mosey. I'm sure, Steve, if we pulled off at any spot here and went 20 feet in the frickin' woods. Yeah. I mean, there's a relatively flat place to get up on. Oh. Jeez, good eyes. Look over there. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah, freaking daddy's getting warm. I'm telling you now. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if she dry. Do you know if they've had rain recently up here? I think so. Camp you, looks, yeah. Camp looks kind of wet. Boy, she's punky. I got some more down over here. Let me come another three feet down. Maybe she'll saw it up a little bit. I mean, I, I cut the very first cut, so I think I've done my part. <laughs> okay. I think if we found another log like that, that would be it. You still stay in pretty solid wood here? Yeah. No. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> you know, I, I want most of that, so go on. Just, just heck. Give me the hatchet. I'll frickin' take off those little nubs in two seconds. Well, I've been doing that. All right, take them all off. That's a great, great pile of wood. <clears throat> I don't think they need, all need to come off, right? Just some. Just so they fit? Yeah, I just, yeah. Don't want it raking against us or other crap in the boat. Yeah. No, we're going to bag that one. Okay. I see another one ahead of me. I'm moving in. Do you want me to come with you? That's punky. Yeah. All right, hang on. I can nice if you can. You want to that thing out of there? Yeah. Or I got half, half a mind that we cut it from the other end. Yeah, but it's trying to do it. Well, we could. Uh, That's punky. We could go back with what we have. 
use the wood that's there for today. I think it's a good supply. That'll get us through today and tomorrow, I yeah. think. And there's some random stuff around there we can pick up. So. All right. Okay. All right. But I can live with that. All right, people, we're all done getting wood. We're going to stick the nose out, and I'll do a turn. We'll go pick up Master Steve. Am I coming to the right of that rock there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're going to want to kind of yeah, swing your... Yeah, check this out. It's all in the reflexes. <coughs> Hang on. We got to get this cinematically right, Steve. All right. Are right, you feeling good about that? I am. In our family, we'd say right now, let's watch this sack of crap struggle. <laughs> good and good. All right, and notice the rain just started again. Sweet. Okay, so there was a rock. There was a rock somewhere in here. <laughs> somewhere in this lake. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like right over here. So yeah, we're, we're just... going to come out this way. Okay. We're going to give a little wider berth. So kind of do a... Yep, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, good idea. And do you like your second spot where you got in over there as a preferred? Oh, without a doubt. All that, right, let's that, do that. That is the spot. Only a couple minutes of this. I love the sawing of the wood. burning that's good and, good and tick Steve nice tick as my mom would say <laughs> it looks like uh, looks like somebody brought a bunch of um, yeah scraps from the wood shop right I threw a bunch of other of that scrap under that tree over there yeah for mild rain it's gonna protect that all right okay All right, family, we've hauled a bunch of wood. Steve's still splitting over there. We're gonna make uh, our first espresso pot right here. This is what it looks like. And I'm just using the foil, block a little wind. Oh, that sun feels great. Yeah, it sure do. I got 345 right now. Alright. Dude, that's the cat's rear right there. Nice. Alright, people. We're gonna go filter. Actually sterilize an L gene. I'm actually gonna go fill it in the water, but I'm gonna come back here to sterilize it. Uh, but Steve hasn't seen this done before, so we're gonna. We're going to demo that to him. But I also want to show you, now that the sun's out, just how beautiful it is out here. And I'll give you a little panoramic of the campsite. Our whole setup here. Uh, pretty happy with the tarp. We got our tables out. You see the tent over there? We pulled the canoe. And right now, it's just perfect. Uh, Sophie, I will pull the thermometer out real soon because I know that you're dying to know what the temperature is. <laughs> and so we'll make sure to take care of you, sweetheart. All right, Mama, come with me. I want to show you again the walrus rocks. Uh, when we come next fall, I'm liking this site. There's two good tent pads uh, for for us, if we can latch on to this place, I'm just going to walk you along here. 
Look at this rock. We could throw pads out here for you. Look how peaceful this is right here. People, if you can't groove on this, you've got stress in your life, and I'm going to encourage you. Call me up. We'll talk you down. I'm not licensed, but uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, I can give you a pick-me-up. All right, I'm going to head down here, fill up this jug. We'll head back to camp, and we'll break out the scientific instruments. <clears throat> you want me to fill it? Yeah, if you don't mind. Bring her pretty much at the curve. Okay. Over here, actually. It's a little less steep, I think. Steve has proven his experience in the boundary waters. The phrase old had. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That's pretty clear. There's not it a is. lot of tannin in that one. No, it doesn't. You see, there's something in there. <laughs> hey, look, krill. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay being in there, right? System. Yeah, if it's a bug. No, it's, it's not a bug, it's just a. Chunk. Yeah, I don't care. If you don't care, I don't care. It's like algae or something. I guarantee you, Tammy will care. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to have to use Nick's filtration system because if we don't come out of this like reverse osmosis. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to buy another filtration system to do that. Absolutely clarify particle the whole works so sweetheart i'm going to uh, record this because i know you enjoy every video having the water filtration segment as part of it so viewers uh for those of you who hang out and watch the show tell me your favorite water filter tell me why you like it does it pack good? Is it reliable? Uh, and for those viewers familiar with the SteriPen, ooh, be careful, that I have here, tell me your thoughts on that too. Um, for me, I don't, I, I don't care about the bugs in the water so long as they're not going to multiply in my belly. Yeah, you can just set that down there, Steve, if you like. Thank you. <coughs> Runs off of four double A's. I always take the batteries out off season or between trips just so there's no drain. Okay. I got, I'm here. sorry, Steve. Yeah, I need one more. Oh. The the cap. So I'm impressed with the technology, but I will admit that it almost seems like a leap of faith that you got them all neutered. But that's basically what this thing is doing, is neutering single cell organisms, the giardias, the amoebas, the paramecium's. You remember your fourth grade? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, <clears throat> this cover comes with the Steri pen fits on all standard nail jeans and this is a UV emitting bulb with two sensors the sensors have to be in contact with water for this to turn on the hole inside here is basically a press fit for this ramped rubberized uh, seal here so you just put it in you just kind of turn it to kind of squeeze the press fit in turn it upside down and the button here has one push for half liter, two push for a full liter. So I'll push it twice and it should do a 90 second timer. So we're green light here. And then I'm going to start a vortex just by shaking this thing. <clears throat> and it's not going to be easy to see, but I'm going to kind of cup this so Steve can see it. Now you can see the bulb is on here, Steve. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and so the point for shaking the bottle, of course, is to make sure, and this is where the leap of faith comes in, that all the water comes within proximity of the bulb. Right. And uh, <clears throat> so someone somewhere Looks at like SteriPen... 
And it looks like it takes a while for the glow to advance all the way to the end of the Yeah, it does. Too. There's a certain warm-up. Okay. But I'm counting on the fact that they've factored that into the amount of time spent doing this. And you can see my water spinning in there. So I've, I'm, I'm just going to say I've got a good enough vortex. And again, being a data-driven engineer, I'm just going to use that term. I just look at the effects. I've never gotten sick doing this. So if you can get over the squeamishness, because once again, it doesn't kill anything. It just simply neuters it. And if there's any real bugs in here, you're, you're eating them. So I believe for the one liter, it is a 90 second timer. And in the whole scheme of doing a camping thing, it's a walk in the park. So I don't know, viewers, I put my hand there, but it's glowing <clears throat> blue. Sometimes uh, on some of our trips, we've had darker lighting and they can see the blue glow, blah, blah, blah. Oh, she's done. So that's it. We're, we're <laughs> neutralized. All right, people, the uh, thermometer's up. Let's bring you in on this. Oh, we're dropping as we're speaking. It it was at uh, it was at 50 when we first mounted it, and now we're about 48, 47. All right, very good. So, very comfortable. We're dressed. We're dressed perfect for this. And uh, really, we're going to do some relaxing. I uh, set up the bushcraft tables there. Uh, you uh, you viewers, uh, if you're looking for instructions. How to build these fancy little plywood tables? Why uh, you leave me a leave me a contact address and I'll fire that off to you. We had some rain recently. All right, people, we are uh, going to get the fire going, ready, slap some stakes on, and uh, we're going to snuggle up Tammy's pre-made mushroom, onion, I think peppers mix for our steaks all good and there's a slightly different veggie mix for our chicken meal for tomorrow night you're welcome to use one of the the hack tables Rag. I'm going to get you a rag. Why, why do you get a spoon? Yeah, I, I pulled that out absentmindedly. I don't need the spoon. Think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a monk. You ever watch a series, Monk? I did, yeah, yeah uh, years ago. But so when. It's, uh, that, that's a great show. Yeah, when the chief <clears throat> has to go to anger management training, right? Uh, anger management. He has to go to therapy session where it's a group therapy, right? Yeah. I know the character. Yeah, great, great actor. Uh, and he starts getting an argument with one of the other members of the thing. And the other members, you know, so he's probably the only cop there, right? There's other people. They're just average people of various backgrounds. And, and so he's getting an argument. And uh, the one guy says to him, what? You think you're better than me because you're some fancy police chief, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, no, Bill, I think I'm better than you on general principle. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> All right, uh, family, I'm going to go grab some steaks. All right, woman, I'm going to get the veggies. I know some might tuck it right into the fire, but I'm going to put it a little offset. And I, I apologize, I'm probably using the wrong one, but I didn't see mushrooms in either one. So tonight we're going to go with the potatoes, asparagus, and, and peppers. Here you go, people. I think I'm getting that in there. This is just going to be good steamed up. So I'm going to seal it up, get her on here.
and that's that's how we're going to do that part and hopefully that works I'm going to listen for uh, a little bit of boiling sizzling out of that yeah there's plenty of heat there yeah <clears throat> that's going to work well I, I had my black rag out here Steve had my black rag out here oh you said a microfiber right that is what I'm going to get you. Here's my. So this is designed for this kind of stuff. And I'm going to get you one right now to use as well so we don't chew up all the paper towel. Okay. Then, I know it sounds silly. You want to do a wash? When we're out fishing, get it in, rinse it out, and then we dry it off later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Be right back. Listen for that hissing. Oh, yeah, brand, this is a this is my brand new replacement knife when I left the mine at the airport. Yeah, it is so sharp. I can never get factory sharp, and I gotta. I think I grab a fork off your plate. I'm gonna use yours for flipping and moving and stuff like that. Okay. And I don't want your fingers to get all good stuff. So if you wanna stab it and then lay it anywhere between these two, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. We'll move them back and forth as we get on different hot spots, but just go right across there. Okay. On the first one. All right. <clears throat> if you need your gloves, boy, that's hot. I just fanned my hands there. It's hotter than a pistol. Yeah, I'll get my gloves. Okay. That's good. That's good. Great. Great, 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 great. Look at that. <clears throat> so this will go on the video as I'm talking here, but it is amazing. Like right now, we're, we're getting some dude lighting, right? Yeah, right. You watch on the video later when Sophie publishes this, right. and you're gonna see how bright the, the lighting is. No right, kidding. you're gonna go. Wasn't it darker than that when we were cooking our steaks? This thing does some sort of light gathering mm. thing, but all of a sudden <clears throat> it collapses, and then you got to put the supplemental lighting oh, on. Sure. So yeah. <clears throat> And I almost forgot the Montreal. Sorry, people. Yeah, you're way early yet, so. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Can it be delicious? It is, I'm looking forward to it. Yep. There, there, on the early phases. Okay. Early phases. You are in control. Well, I was a former short order fried cook. That's right. You know, I don't mean to pull rank or anything <laughs> like that. But I think we can all get along. All right, folks, we turned them. And they are just about done. Stevie and me talked it through. We I think we both like our steaks uh, medium to medium rare. Look how nice those look. You, All right, Tammy. You don't mind a little tooth on the potato, do you? Uh, I'm probably not going to have much potato, so I'll have one or two, and you're going to get the rest. No, I think I think it's all done. All right. Thanks, Tam. It's going to be delicious. Yep. Good move. I call that the rainy slide. <laughs> I got a whole book written. <laughs> In your mind. That, uh, I'm, I'm sweeping off that, uh, what, what did I call that seasoning? Montreal. Montreal seasoning. It's like, God damn it, my appetite just goes through the frickin' roof. <laughs> Look at that salty crap off. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, which one do you want? You pick first. Um, I think this front one. Okay, I'll take it. Yep. Thanks. Grab my plate, would you please? I will. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna distribute the veggies. Like onions, right? Sure. Okay. 
taking one of these asparagus back. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> All right. This is going to be easier. I just kind of, yeah, that's right. That's right. I want those two back. All right, you got a big pile of stuff there. Yeah, you good. You got less than I do, I think so. I think so. All right, go with that. You want me to take the fork? That is your fork, okay. Yeah, that's okay. I don't care you liked it. Mmm, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, good. Family, we're gonna have ourselves some ribeyes. I'm not gonna bust your chops too much here. We're gonna save a little video, but I just wanted to see you, you guys to see everything plated up. We got, uh, so Tammy fixed us up a, a couple of packages of uh, veggies, potatoes, this, we got asparagus here, peppers, onion. This this looks like it cooked up perfect. <clears throat> yeah, the presentation's really okay. nice too with all the color. Yep. So thanks, woman. And uh, we'll turn this off and uh, talk to you at the end. Who brought that rock? Yeah, this is a good view. With sports photographers uh, to be contracted for various university uh, games and so she'll go around and videotape so uh, sometimes they'll ask her to edit it and sometimes they'll say no send us the raw send us the raw video we'll edit thanks. it but <laughs> thanks for turning the light off it was going yeah, right in well, my eyes you what? too Mine's... oh is it on <laughs> oh crap i'm sorry <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> <clears throat> that made the video by the way so that was good I know. good I know. organic we call that fodder People, I, I think, I'm looking at the screen there, Steve, and I think we're looking okay. Yeah, it's, it looks, uh, I can see light. Yeah, so people stick with us there. Uh, we're at that uh, time of night. We've cleaned up. The steaks were awesome. Woman, the, oh, the vegetable uh, medley. Could, couldn't have been better. Potatoes cooked up just fine. They were just perfect. Yeah. So thank you for that. That'll definitely be fodder for next fall here. Uh, viewers, um, tell us about your sawbill experiences. Uh, we're early in this trip. You're going to see more of us yet, obviously. Um, and, uh, yeah, tell us some of your favorite uh, things that you've done on sawbill. Steve's been on here a lot of times. He's crossed over into and and. Or what's the other well, no, way? actually, we, we were on here once in 2017. Oh, okay. But then we went over to um, Fire and Smoke and Burnt. Fire and Smoke and Burnt Lakes. Yeah. And then what about the east side one? We didn't go to Alton then. No. Oh, you didn't go to Alton. No. Okay. But that might be worth a trip if, if the wind doesn't pick up too badly. So we've been monitoring the weather here today, kind of to summarize it up, uh, 40s. 40s simply gorgeous and yeah just really we had a few periods of the lightest tinkling rain nothing to to wet anything really uh we're all geared up good the, you saw already the camp is set up great but it, it might be uh, it might be getting different <laughs> the forecast for tomorrow and and potentially tonight is the wind's going to pick up 15 to 20 is what they're saying right now. Temperature's probably not going to change much. We'll probably see a max of 50 or so tomorrow. That's going to be the good thing because it's still going to be highs around 50. Yeah. But the big, the bigger deal is the wind. And really, those speeds of wind, they're irritating. They're not debilitating. But it does mean now you're probably going to find some lee side shores or lee side islands if you don't want to constantly be correcting and uh, what yeah, have you. Right. So we're going to, you know... We're going to roll with the punches tomorrow, bring you along with us, but it was a, it was a good first day. We got out early, no portages, and uh, that's a unique flavor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and, a great, and a great description, by the way. A unique flavor, yeah. That's where I'm leaving it. <laughs> oh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Son of a bitch. Hey family, I told you we'd uh, say goodnight to you. Uh, you see Steve's all snuggled up here. 
Uh, I'm about to wrap it up myself. Stevie, what time we got? Oh, I don't know. I got it. Stick with me. My phone's off. We went to 11 o'clock tonight. We had a lot of stargazing. It was cool. Sky is amazing. Saw some shooting stars. As you civilians would say. All right. Battery's having a fit. We're saying good night. We'll see you in the morning, people. Good night. Good night. Good morning, people. It's Thursday, I think. No, it's... Oh, we got a grouse. Right behind the camera. I'm going to see if I can't get close for you. Okay, hopefully you saw him. That was kind of cool. Oh, it's Friday morning. We're going to pull ourselves together here. Uh, as you saw, we finally found the latrine yesterday. So I'm going to make use of that uh, right now. So, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're going to have uh, eggs, sausage, and bacon this morning. some coffee going. How you doing there? Stevie's up. Morning. Morning. We're going to get some coffee brewing here, folks. Then we'll start worrying about uh, bacon, sausage, and eggs. So Steve put me on to this little trick yesterday for a windbreak. Because I have one. I have the fold-out windbreak, but you see how high the flame is here. Probably a good 10 inches off the table. Well, I'm just wrapping this with foil. And at the very bottom where it's cool, we have the handy-dandy duct tape. And as we say in Francais, voila. It's, it's voila. <laughs> voila. <laughs> All right, folks, coffee's done. We got the sausage frying up. Fry it up, right up, and. And never, no, never, no, never, let him forget you're a man, cause you're a woman. <laughs> All right, viewers, what am I referring to in that little jingle? Go ahead and post it in the comments. I almost said it and would have ruined the whole I know. Thing. Nick has done that before. <laughs> we said some, we did a, a, a song lyric that was in two distinct movies. And we were <laughs> saying it all trip, and then at one point, I asked the viewership. I, you know, said to the camera, Nick goes, "Oh, one of them was like, like this." <laughs> all right, we might have a little adhesive residue. That's just fine. Hopefully, it's food grade. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if they put a sticker <laughs> in the bottom of the pan? Danger. <laughs> Danger, adhesive contains mercury. <laughs> mercury and lead. 
and maybe radioactivity. <laughs> Take your knife and cut that bacon in half right down the cross cut. All right. I got zip, or no, then the whole thing will fold flat and it'll, it'll store good again. But yeah, that first half entry Should there, that's this? right, exactly, and that's what we'll cook up. All right. Well, maybe 10. Let's Five go eight. 10 eggs. Five each. All right. I'm going to get my tongs out. Uh, viewers, <clears throat> I can assure you it smells as good as it looks. Coming along nicely, Stephen. Cool. We're eating people. We're eating people? We're eating... <clears throat> Excuse me, people. Punctuation is important. Yeah. In a sentence like that. Yeah. And emphasis. Oh, Jesus Christ. Salt mine. Oh. I got the pepper out. You want to take a hit? Mm -mm. I'm fine. You're fine. Yeah, there's right. plenty of seasoning in the sausage for me. All right. Bacon's done. All right. Rennie, this is great. Good. <clears throat> Good, thank you. We're going to head out fitching, people. Do you bring this boat on your thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, all right. Who brings the other boat? Uh, Kevin does. All right. He's got the lightweight version of this. Oh, okay. All right, family, first fish in, little rock bass on the bottom bouncer. So you don't see it on the camera, but I'm just about scraping rocks on shore. So I'm gonna turn her off, let this little buddy go. And we'll try it again. All right, how you doing people? We're up on shore. Steve is re-rigging a Lindy. Uh, I'm sticking with the bottom bouncer. Just pulling uh, pulling a minnow is all on about uh, three feet of line off the bottom bouncer. 
But let me tell you something uh, a little bit more about that rock bass. I played that thing. No one else would have brought that in. <laughs> he was uh, duking and jiving, and uh, yeah, I couldn't uh, give it a moment's uh, inattentiveness. And sure enough, we boated it. He acknowledged he lost. Yeah, and you, forgot about, you forgot the part about when he was ramming the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Moby Dick down there, uh, tried to take us down. Steve's got a pretty strong hull, but uh, so we, we survived that. So I'm just killing time for the moment. Just wanted to give you a little view. We haven't had sun all day today, and now it's beating down on us, so I wanted to give you a little opportunity. See a little bit of that. So the wind is pretty decent. We get... Uh, I don't know, it's, it, it fluctuates certainly, but sometimes, boy, it gets us cruising. Sometimes it's perfect. There's never no wind. Hey, people. I think I might have caught the smallest fish in this lake here. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna bring it to you live. That's a little wally. Look at that. They want my minnow. Let's go get the minnow, Steve. There you go, people. We're a little deep in the evening. We're not going to keep this. What a terrific hook set. I played it perfect. Nobody would have hooked this walleye better than me. There you go. All right, we're letting her go. Kick your ass. Oh, that was on film. Sorry. All right. Hey, people. We're back at camp. Canoe is up on the shore. Steve's doing something. Oh, yeah. He's going to put his cool little uh, door lock on the minnow bucket. But, uh, Sophie, I thought it'd be good for us to check the temperature. We're going to mosey over to the camp thermometer it is 510 in the p.m. I'm gonna go 40 45 roughly 45 degrees okay uh, we're I think gonna start making supper and uh, we'll let you know how that goes hey people so we got supper going tonight, sweetheart, is your second batch of veggies, uh, you see it on the fire there. Stevie's minding that. And then here, let me tell, I'm using the jet boil to cook up one of those uh, rice dishes from Nor. And it smells terrific. I want to say it's one of their Spanish rice things. Uh, I got your chicken seasoned up here, ready to roll. So tonight is, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just call it uh, pan fried chicken chunks with seasoning. This is a Tammy special. And we got her veggies grilling over the fire. So that's the menu for tonight. God, good luck using the butter if you want. Frick, it's hard as <laughs> These are the chicken chunks, people. 
Steve likes his slightly undercooked. But we're not going to undercook our chicken, so. Alright, night two, people. We got seasoned chicken, spicy rice. So Tam put the chicken together, right? Yeah, well, yeah, she cut up all the chicken and she gave me the rice or the seasoning to mix in. Thanks, Tam. Yeah, thanks, Tam. And uh, she assembled both veggie uh, packets. Yeah, those are, those are <clears throat> an extra treat. Yeah. <clears throat> People, I got no idea if you see us. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. Yeah, I think, we, I think we're showing up. I'm not using the high power LED. Steve would probably smack me for that one. Now, day's wrapped up, supper's done, we're all cleaned up, now we're just going to kick back. Quarter to eight, we ain't staying up long. <laughs> Maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, 8.30. Sounds good. Yeah, 8.30. So, bottom line is, uh, caught a couple of fish, you saw, I think you saw both, but that was it. It was tough fishing. It's tough fishing conditions. With the wind, you're at the mercy of the wind and the speed of the wind. And uh, whatever. There's fish here, but uh, we struggled. There may not be a fish dinner, but uh, we're going to give it the old college try tomorrow. That is so awesome. <laughs> so now it's blinking again. See, this is what you get when you don't have a professional photographer like Sophie <laughs> to do this kind of stuff. I'm going to try to give it one more shot here. Sophie, it's, you do whatever you want on the editing. You, you see it's blinking. Is I mean, it's going to turn Yeah, up. it's recording. Oh, okay. The blinking, yeah, I think it's It just it's says it's recording. Okay. It's recording. So. All right. So, uh, drop the light. Well, now Sophie knows what to get you for Christmas. Well, that high power LED, I could put it on right now and your eyes would wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Nick use it, and we're pretty sure that this Matthew Poza, when he does his nighttime shots, is using something similar. Okay. Because we see how well illuminated he is. You never see what he's using. But then we see how well illuminated we are after the fact. It's like, it's the same thing. This guy blinds himself. <laughs> what he's talking, this is like half the brightness. Yeah, this is so this is okay. Uh, anyway, Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. We'll have a full day. Tomorrow, same breakfast again. Egg, sausage, bacon. It's delicious. Sticks with you all day. Yeah, sticks with you all day. So, anyway, I got no more for you tonight. I might go on a rant in the boat tomorrow, and I'll encourage the public to chime in, give your thoughts. Haven't decided yet. Might be a regular day tomorrow, but we'll see what kind of mood I'm in. Shy of that, we'll say goodnight to you in the tent uh, while Steve and I uh, schmooze here for a little bit more. All right, folks, take a guess. The night is over. Uh... It was starting to mist. Would you characterize it as mist? Yeah, mist. Yeah. It's uh, quarter to nine, so we went an extra half an hour than I said, so I apologize for lying to all of you. I love you all. And uh, no, we're settling in now. Uh, no, that's it, folks. Night two. It is awesome out here. It's going to be a cool Crips night, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Maybe this time I'll, I'll uh, get you some video when we're actually crawling out of our bags. <clears throat> All right, we'll see ya. Good, Good night. night. Good morning, family. Uh, Saturday morning, we had a little precipitation last night. So it's about, uh, I don't know, it's pushing 745 or so. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's 
raining anymore, so we'll slowly get the ball rolling, get some coffee. <laughs> morning. <laughs> good morning, people. I don't have you in the video that good. I'm oh, I'm fine. To... Good morning. A little bit. It is a chilly morning, although I felt that overnight it was warmer. Look at those little meatballs, huh? Nice. So for you culinary experts out there, this time I cut up the sausages first rather than trying to chop them up later. All right, thank you for taking care of the coffee. You're welcome. <laughs> PV equals NRT, Steve. Indeed it does. <clears throat> Thirty-eight people, and we could feel it. God, it was weird. I was way warmer last night, and this morning we're chilly. I gotta get out of smoke. The sun keeps threatening to peek through. We got splotches of blue sky around. Probably told you we got some rain last night. Wasn't heavy. Tables truly are a premium. We didn't think we were going to use my bushcraft tables, and uh, we used all of them. Nick is, or sorry, Steve has one of these fold-out aluminum trichology tables. Uh, same anodizing as mine, but I think his is a two-footer. That one right there, and then mine further up here, I think is uh, probably 18, probably 18 inches long. So these things are handier than heck. They collapse right down, lightweight, good stability. I've got the bear-proof rope-tied cooler. No way anybody penetrates that. All right, we'll take it back up to the rocks. So, woman, if uh, if we come here, we looked at a couple of campsites, but there is a ton of walrus rock here. And if there was any sun to speak of, this would be the baking shore if we hit this place. This is actually very shallow out here. Uh, three to five feet for quite a ways. So I tried a little bit of bobber fishing yesterday, no luck. And uh, I'm not sure offshore fishing here is gonna be productive. So anyway, that's that. Okay, I'm gonna push you out a little bit. All right, ready? That was fun. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Do it again. All right, folks. We're uh, probably half a mile from camp, and we're doing a drift from north to south. The winds have been like that the whole time. It is overcast, as you can see but the wind for the drift is perfect. So we're gonna try to skim some shoreline, try to find some 20 foot. 
right now are around 18, 19 feet. The look, <laughs> if you had to say the shoreline, the channel, the points, you would just say they should be hopping in. Hopping in. You'd be offended to have to put a line in the water. So while we're kicking the tires, audience, I've been trying to decide whether I shared with you my innermost thoughts on another media thing that, that troubles me a little bit. For those of you who enjoy the great British Bake Off, Steve may start laughing because I've already primed him on this a little bit. But I got a problem. I got a problem with the show, and, and really, it's not limited to that show, but Tammy and the girls love the show. And I got to tell you, I'm stressed out every time I'm hanging with them watching the show. And I'm, I'm going to share with you my, I'm going to share this with you, and I, I really would be interested in hearing your comments on it. What stresses me out is... the time limit to get their crap done I don't know about you but I've seen so many episodes where one of the contestants is basically done in either finishing a, a drizzle of icing or plating something and all he or she needs is like 60 seconds to two minutes and it drives me nuts when they cut them off. Because I'm like, yeah, I want it to be the Bake Off. I want you to taste whoever this person's food is without nailing him. Just go to commercial for God's sakes. Let him finish up. Now I know some of you are gonna come back. Oh, that rainy, that's the contest. You can't get it done. Well, that's gotta be part of it. And I'm gonna tell you now, it's unacceptable. I want the grating to be on the food, not on how long it takes them to plate it. I don't have much more than that on that topic. I, I got to hear what you got to say, but you know that there's lots of cooking shows like that where the hosts and the helpers are just browbeating the contestants. 15 minutes. Maybe they could buy some extra time, Rainy. So Steve, if you didn't hear him, has got a great idea. He says, almost like a poker rebuy-in, is the contestant buys more time, right? 10 bucks a minute? I mean, not all these people are rich for crying out loud. So yeah, let's, let's spin it. Let's get the dishes done. I watch this show and my heart is pumping. I'm so full of stress. And really, if we're honest, a good part of that stress is I don't know how to make any of that crap. And so I think, and I project that onto every contestant of, what are you going to start with? Where are you going to go? And uh, so, yeah, if, uh, if you got feelings on the great British Bake Off or any other pet peeves on that show, I'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments. Uh, my family... Uh, which won't surprise you is perfectly happy with how the show is run they love the show like I said uh, but uh, yeah go ahead let me know what you think uh, keep it clean of course and um, yeah if we latch on to a excuse me a fish here we'll uh, we'll present it to you it's it's that real light mist again and I I've been through this before and I've gotten the chills. I'm ha I got half a mind to throw the rain top on. I got half a mind to throw the rain top on just to cut to the chase. All right, people, we'll see you in a bit. All right, people, fish on and a little nicer this time. I'm going to try to present it in front of the camera, Steve. It's all about the cinematography. Oh, 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 she doesn't want to come up. There she is, a flash. Flash. Nice. Small mo. Yeah. Alright, you got your scooper, you go ahead and scooper. 
and then I'll get it out of your net. Ah, uh, hang on. Let me see if I can just do a quick throw in the boat thing. Around the middle bucket. Settle down, settle down. Everyone's gonna everyone's gonna get along just fine. Yeah, we're just bringing them in. Screw that noise. All right, people. There she is. That would be a good eater, I think, Steve. Oh yeah. I'm not keeping it to eat. Right, right. All right, there's your smallie. So we've done three species so far. They're always fun to catch, though. Yeah, that was fun. Good fighters, these smallies. Uh, perfect crook of the mouth hook set. All right, we're going to let her go. And I'm going to tell you, the uh, strike felt like a snake. <laughs> there was no tugging. I was just picking up the... Just picking up the tip and it was like leaning over. I was like, oh, fudge, fudge. But it felt like it was coming along. I'm like, all right, if I got a log, I got a log. And then the more, yeah, so then, then the fight started a little bit more. And... All right, folks, we're back on. I'm gonna play this for about a half an hour here and Steve off. Yeah, Sophie's going to edit that out. She doesn't want that word in there. Anyway, we're fish on again. I'm bringing this up from about 50 feet. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we're here, and we got wallage. No, we got big old rock bass. Big old rock bass again. get it over my middle rope right now look at that all right folks we'll give you a look see on this right directly there you go check that out now if we were desperate for eating I would carve that up in a second we've had them before on our trips you look at those red eyes by God red eyes Again, a perfect lip hook on. There we go, we'll let her go real quick. Steve and I are very conscientious about keep it or let it the frick go, but don't sit and dance with it forever. So that's what we're using. Just a plain half a crawler. Let me show you this rig here, people. <laughs> In case there's any sponsors out there that wanna shove a little money my way. Just kidding, I'm not begging for money. But it's basically a modified bottom bouncer. There's your weight right there on a little stick with a quick release tab at the top. So you can take the weight off and just throw a lure on without having to re-rig everything. All right, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you when uh, Steve latches into one. You just missed a fish, people. Uh, Never had a clue the battery was down, the battery was down. So we brought in a small wally, we let her go. So the drift is still on. There are fish here. They ain't jumping in the boat, but we've had action this morning. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, people, fish on. Apologize, you missed the last one. Uh, but uh, we'll try to give you a good view of this one. It feels like a good fighter. It feels like a good fighter. All right, we're broaching the surface. Nice little wally. Now if you want, Steve, after we unhook this, we can uh, paddle right back up and drift it again on this side of the mouth. Yeah, let's do that. All right.
hanging out. Again, very similar size to last one. We'll let her go. You probably noticed I used the hemostat for hook removal. I really like it. It's narrow, gets in without a bunch of bulk. Good clamping force. All right, I am going to uh, hook on and then Stevie and I are gonna paddle back and uh, try to do another run on this spot. It's right out the mouth of, uh, I don't know, a channel of some sort. So, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out on that one. All right, we're taking a break. We're going to check out a campsite, people. Well, it ain't going to get flooded out, that's for sure. It's a great view. Boy, it certainly is. Here's the view right back down, folks. Woman, I wouldn't say it's exactly walrus, but you technically got lots of rock here, uh, including some nice flat spots to lay out a mat, soak in some sun. This ain't, a, this ain't bad. Look but you could throw a tent right on that little plateau right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk down this way a little, little bit. Yeah, this is probably the path to the latrine. So I think it's got potential. You could get some wind, but you still got trees here. The view, the view is what you got. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see the tent sites. Really, that plateau could be a tent site, right? Mm. It's a little angled. Yeah, you could. Maybe and you we'll... got rock. There's your tent site. I didn't mm -hmm. pick up on that. All right. You could put two side by side here, my size tent. What'd you see over the edge here? Well, I just saw some trails. I didn't go any further. Okay. All right, I'm gonna power off. And then, uh, so you've got a little feel for this. We're calling it a day, people. This is it for fishing. I think we bagged half a dozen today. We'll give you the whole story up in camp. All right, folks. This is uh, the Last Supper. We are prepping for a couple of half pounders, burgers. <clears throat> Got our cheese, ketchup, mustard. We're gonna fix up a couple of Noor's dishes for sides. We're gonna go with the creamy chicken flavor rice and pasta blend and a chicken flavored fettuccine in a savory chicken flavored sauce. So we're contrasting beef and chicken and we'll put those in the jet boil and on this new pot that I bought right here. Steve is working the fire. All right, we got burgers cooking. Steve's all over that. We got our side dishes cooking right there. We got our bread, cheese, ketchup, mustard, all ready there. This is it, family. Burgers. We got a pasta dish, rice and pasta dish, and 
we're early enough yet that we can get a little cleanup and prep done in light. 5.30. Oh yeah. That's it. <clears throat> yeah, that's over good. So mama, this will be one of our meals for sure. When you come out next year. Maybe the rabbit will come by again. That would be great. Man, we'd get the hits then. How you doing, Sophie? Yeah, there he is. He's back there. Yeah, I see him right there. Was well, the camera on? It's on right now. Oh, great. But it won't pick it up. Oh, okay. Sophie, I don't know in the background if... Jeez, it's running back and forth. <laughs> we, got a... we got a big old jackrabbit <laughs> running around the camp. It's the last night. It's 7 o'clock. It's already pretty dark here, but uh, we're wrapping it up. Steve and I spent the last hour or so kind of packing up stuff we don't really need out anymore and prep for uh, departure tomorrow. So today, a little more fruitful on the fish, but still, you know, they weren't jumping in. It was almost accidental every catch. It's kind of like, what's that? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah, we couldn't find two in the same spot. They're no, just, that's right. You couldn't find two in the same spot. They're just scattered and... So, yeah, I, I call it dredging. I call it dredging the lake, you know? <laughs> and we did. We we went a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't for lack of trying. It certainly wasn't for lack of trying. We put in a good five and a half today. <laughs> We're going to snuggle up with that jackrabbit later. <laughs> Japers. It's pretty warm. So at 7 o'clock, we're going to schmooze here maybe for about an hour. I'd like to get an early start, but it's so cold, and I don't want to get up yeah. in the morning. Cold, Steve. Oh, I know. Me too. So, <laughs> good. <laughs> but we'll try to get a reasonably early start. We're not going to cook anything. We got bars that we'll have, uh, with the exception of coffee. We're going we're gonna to get a pot of coffee, but that's it. And then it's bag packing, stuff the boat and uh, take a leis leisurely stroll back, and we're going to see you loved ones tomorrow night. So I'm signing off for now. We'll probably say goodnight in the tent, but, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. Oh, look at that shot. All right. That's <laughs> perfect. Hey, we're here. <laughs> perfect <laughs> we're, we're hitting the sack what time we got let me check the time you probably got it actually right up. oh damn I put my watch back here <laughs> here it is excellent nine o'clock nice oh perfect time reasonable yeah. time yeah we're hitting the sack we had a great night great supper it solved a bunch of world problems we solved a there. bunch of world problems Oh, man. Galactic lensing, the whole works. No, uh, it's the gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing, yeah. my uh, my Fox Pass. <laughs> All right, Very so nice. listen, we're ending it tomorrow morning. We'll try to give you some takedown video, and um, yeah, where it's uh, the only hot thing tomorrow is a mug of coffee. And bars for breakfast, but it's the rest of the camp takedown, loading mm -hmm. up the canoe. And yeah. if the wind is right, it's at our backs all the way back. So yeah, it should be great. I should be able thanks to for following 20. us, people. Send a message if you feel like it. Any comments, any recommendations for fishing, for crying out loud, even on sawbills specifically. If you got favorite sites or favorite shorelines, let us know. Uh, if you're willing to share... Uh, uh, your fishing technique, we'd be grateful. All right, good night, people. See you tomorrow. All right, we're rolling, family. It's close to 7.30. Packing up. Gonna go make some donuts. All right, we'll see you outside. We're gonna get some <clears throat> coffee rolling. We actually have a gorgeous day. If I didn't show you that earlier, look at these skies. Wind's going to be at our backs. Wind's at our backs. Beautiful thing.
I've tried to convince people. So I've had this discussion, believe it or not, with my family. The scruncher versus the efficiency of get a few squares, fold them up into a good, thick, thick enough layer, and do the white. I guarantee you my method, which I think is truly effective, probably uses way better than half the toilet paper of the scruncher. Way better than half. Give us some degrees. Well, I think so. Freaking. And then. <laughs> so, yeah, me and my brother get that off on it. The camera's not on it. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> is it really? Oh. Hey, Sophie, hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> Here's how it's looking, people. We're gonna do a little bit of preload on the boat. Get her in the water, then we'll fill it the rest of the way. People, you are witnessing the departure. Landing zone one. You're gonna get some sky views here in a little bit, but she is pretty. All right, I'm helping. I'm helping, because I'm a helper. See, you're irritating me again. No sunglasses. That's fine, yeah, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Boy, we're gonna warm up, dude. Could throw out a spinnaker up here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> God, wouldn't that be fun? Dude, wouldn't you love to be seen by a bunch of other canoeists just kicking ass across the waves? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Boats and the rollers. What's up? <laughs> Rooster tail. <laughs> Some, <laughs> Rooster tail. Somehow. <laughs> Why are those guys wearing helmets? <laughs> yeah, this is much better than when we came in. Oh, yeah. Balance-wise, wow. Yeah, it, cripe, it's so much easier to hold tack. Of course, I, I did learn over the few days how to do a little bit better steering. Yes, you did. Return trip to fishing. All right, people, thus endeth another trip. Uh, it is uh, Sunday, Aug October 15th. We came back in some wind, and thank God it was to Never our backs. Back, yes. Yeah, thank God it's to our backs. <laughs> Listen, uh, don't know when the next trip's gonna be, kind of tentative on the uh, Memorial Weekend 2024. Hope to see you then. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm Rainey, this is Steve. Hey. We're your True North Losers. We'll see you next time. Bye.